My current goal with Box Cutter is to have users not have to even understand all the intricacies of Box Cutter. All they have to know is the helper and all the functionality that it offers, and they should be able to have a well rounded experience to get all the way to their destination. So, when it comes to Box, I'm just going to click and drag and create a box, and then we are going to press D to go into Helper, and we'll click on Bevel in order to begin bringing our bevel in. We'll have to move our mouse in order to close the helper because we've activated it in operation. However, we could press tab in order to drop the shape and then press D to bring up the helper again and we'll activate the Q bevel. So whenever it comes to bevel, there's two types of bevels that are able to be done whenever it comes to the base. The one that we're currently looking at is what we call the quad bevel, where basically the bevel is nicely rounded whenever it comes to these corner areas. For this update, one of our options that was a little bit more obscure has now been made more accessible and that is the option for disabling the quad bevel for users who may want to disable the quad bevel for old school type workflows. You are able to do that where basically when you draw the shape in, instead of getting a nice rounded quad bevel, you will just get one that terminates in the way that it does, which is a little bit more traditional and what you would actually expect with this particular modifier setup. So just letting users know that while it is nothing new, it is now actually present for users to enable and disable and have on at their own whim. However, I recommend always having it on. It's something that we usually never even have to talk about, but just in case you wonder about the quad bevel and how you can toggle it off, that is how you are able to do so now, just using the helper.